Okay, so the tools you'll need for um, repairing or maintaining your your felt roof. First of all, you'll just want um, a cheap brush. Don't don't use a roller because the, the, a lot of these kind of paints have solvents in, and it will just melt it. It's like a synthetic material, a roller. It's quite soft. Uh, this should be okay. A cheap brush like this one. Make sure it's a cheap brush because after you've finished, you'll, you'll probably just throw the brush away because it will be really gunked up. So, little brush. Um, just to like go along the lines and the joins of um, the felt, you want, uh, this is a used one, um, so it's a bit of a mess. Uh, roof and gutter sealant, some kind of a roof and gutter sealant, just in case there's any, any cracks or folds just any of the larger sort of areas that might eventually leak so uh, I'm, I'm doing mine mine's not actually leaking at the moment I just want to maintain it and prolong the life so I've got this uh, liquid damp proofing synth the proof trade uh, this was from Wix it says water repellent coating two and a half liters I've got this for 12 pounds 50 I've already used one on the roof, I'm uh, about halfway through, so I've bought another tub. So um, it's, it's probably better off working out how much you need because if you buy a larger tub, you get it cheaper. So this is just um, like a bitumen based paint, and it says waterproof and uh, vapor resistant, rubberized bitumen emulsion. So uh, the idea is to just give it an, a protective layer on top, sort of. Um, rejuvenate the roof that's the idea so uh, I'll show you when I'm up there so as I say the roof I'm doing it's a felt roof a side room of my house it's felted you can see here there's some Aris rail under there to give it the edges so when I moved into the house about seven years ago uh, well I haven't touched it in seven years it's not leaking but it could be ten years plus old I don't know there it is, you can see like as the, where the strips are. Um, there's joins and there's, there's joins along here. Um, you can see there I've started painting it. And that's where I ran out of paint, so. Um, with the, the sealant, what I was talking about, the areas that have got bits of damage, like say here, just wanna just fill that in with your finger Oh yeah, wear some gloves as well because you'll never get the stuff off your hands. Joins and areas, just weaker areas, such as there. But um, I'll get the stuff out in a minute and I'll just show you uh, how to apply it. Right, so um, if you're looking at the type of sealant, so we've got a cheap one here, roof and gutter repair. And these cheaper ones tend to be acrylic based, so... Um, they're not they're not as good as something a bit more expensive which is like a solvent oily based um, um, sealant so uh, this one's about three quid that one's about a pound uh, there is a difference this stuff is harder to work with because it's very sticky anything that's oil based or solvent based you can't just wash it off uh, this stuff will just wash off so I mean they're both kind of waterproof but this one will not last as long um, again like I say easier to work with but doesn't last as long harder to work with but lasts longer so for this application I'll be using this one I do use this but not not for I wouldn't use it on a roof I'd probably use it um, just to fill cracks in wood uh, as a repellent rather than a waterproofing so I've got another type of uh, gutter repair that I'm going to use. This one is rubberized water resistant. So as I say, there's a few different types. Um, this is this is one of the better types. So once you've selected it, just put it into your gun. wear some gloves because it's really sticky this is what happens to your brush if you don't clean it out after you've used this stuff 
it just gunks it up, it goes hard. That brush is now ruined. So use a cheap brush. I filled in these cracks, these joins with the gutter seal. Let's see here. Okay, so before my can ran out, this is a new can. Uh, you can see I started off down there. I got to here, so you can see this is the the faded old felt, and the, the idea is to just give it a coat of this rubberized bitumen emulsion, and it brings it back to life. You can see it looks it looks wet, but it's not. It's just giving it a nice waterproof coating, and it's soaking in. So um, any of the weaker parts, so I've got these joins. I've just filled them with the gutter seal. You can see as I go along. And over here, all the way down. So there's some cracks as well. Um, that's just another join. Um, a few cracks such as there, I've just given them a little, a little skimming. So now, it's time to paint the roof. Just going along the bottom now by where the guttering is. Make sure you get it all right underneath as well. So where the where the felt folds over. You know, don't don't just stop painting painting here, go all the way. Up and even underneath if you can. And make sure you get a lot in these join areas. I'm just working my way around, I've done the bottom, as you can see there. And I've gone right up along, up to the flashing at the top. You can see there where, it, where it's brown and then in the sunlight where it's drying it's going black. Right so it's now all finished. You can see all the way along. Just had a bit of rain and now the sun's come out. Um, the rain, the water is just sat on top just running straight. So this should last quite a bit longer and uh, you see the edges here I've, um, I've filled them with the gutter seal and then I've painted over the top of that so should last a bit longer uh, so I've even gone along the edge here as the, the, the felt wraps over and I've even given this a coat, this this uh, finishing board 
as I say, it's just been raining. The rain is just on the surface, so it's, it's all ready to drip off. It feels good, it feels much better than it did before. It feels very kind of plasticky, rubbery. see some water there just sat just a, there was just a light shower so I'm pretty confident this will be much more waterproof than it was and it will last a few years longer so give it a go yourself it's quite easy just be careful going up on the roof all you need is a gutter seal and some uh, bitumen based or rubberized or both uh, based paint and just work it into the existing felt and you should come up with a finish like this one. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and uh, please feel free to comment below and please remember to subscribe.